you find yourself constantly trying to win your mother's love, but you just don't seem to be able to do that. Does your mother care more about how things look to the outside world than how you actually feel? She seems to think that your mother may be jealous of you and your accomplishments. Well, keep watching this video because I'm going to talk to you about the 10 signs that your mother may be narcissistic or a narcissist. Hi, my name is Ruth and this channel is all about maternal narcissism and healing daughters of narcissistic mothers. So these signs are in relation to the mother and daughter dynamic. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one is that you constantly find yourself trying to win your mother's love. You try to get her attention, but you don't seem to be able to ever please her or she doesn't seem satisfied with anything that you do. And it seems that the goalpost is always moving. When we grow up, we need love and attention from our mothers and we need her approval as and the approval needs to come from who you are as a person and not what you're able to do. So this is why a lot of daughters of narcissistic mothers struggle with feelings of worthiness. You may try to appease your mother by buying her gifts, but she doesn't seem to care or act like it's not something that she likes. You may also try to win her love by showing her what type of friends you have or what type of romantic partner you have. Maybe she will approve of them, which means she will approve of you. Sign number two is that she empathizes how it looks, not how you feel. A narcissistic mother's mantra is all about, it's better to look good than feel good. So because a narcissistic mother sees you as an extension of herself and not a separate person, if you look good, then so does she. So even though it may look like she cares about you, it's really all about her and her impression that she makes upon others. How you look is more important to other people because it helps her boost up her fragile ego and her sense of worth. For some daughters, if they're not on display and can't be seen by others, they become invisible to the mother. To the mother, what you feel inside is not important. Number three, your mother is jealous of you. Your mother may perceive you as a threat, whether consciously or subconsciously, if you try to take attention away from her. She may punish you by doing things like bullying you, belittling you, humiliating you, criticizing you, giving you a silent treatment, stonewalling you because she may be jealous of your material possessions, of the romantic partner you have, of your accomplishments, and your education. Some narcissistic mothers will put their daughters down and criticize them to keep them small, even though the daughter has accomplished so much. Or some other narcissistic mothers will become ignoring, so they'll pretend like the daughter hasn't done anything or accomplished anything. And these types of mothers won't congratulate their daughters or show up to their graduations or congratulate them on their engagement ring or their wedding. She may criticize the, the way that a daughter looks, her weight. She may call her slut or whore. Essentially, a narcissistic mother is the quintessential mean girl that never grew up. What's insidious about this message is that your mom is telling you to do good, but don't do better than her. And this is confusing for daughters. You can't outshine mother, but you have to do good to make her look good. In the end, the reason why she is this way is because if she is a narcissist, she needs to protect herself and she's on survival mode. So she will do anything to make herself feel better for just a little bit, including putting her daughter down. Number four, your mother doesn't support your healthy expressions of self because most of the time they're in conflict with what she likes or she may see them as a threat. So if your mother didn't do anything but become a housewife, but there's nothing wrong with that, but you became a housewife, but you also started your own business and you are married and you have five kids, your mother may be jealous of your accomplishments. As children, we, we develop a sense of self by expressing ourselves, by exploration, by playing, by cooperation, by experiencing new things, right? But a narcissistic mother doesn't allow her daughter to do this. So a child ends up wiring their brain for survival, meaning they will do anything to not become abandoned or not be scared. Because you got to understand when we're children, we need our parents' attunement so that we feel safe in this world. And if we don't, and if we can't express ourselves, then we're just basically trying to survive so our parents don't abandon us. So when we're exploring, we're able to play, we're able to find out who we are as people and what we like. But a narcissistic mother doesn't allow this because she controls her daughter's interests and activities. She may self-sabotage some of the interests that the daughter has because they are not going to benefit the mother or maybe the mother is jealous. And anything that the daughter is interested in usually has to revolve around the mother about what she finds interesting, convenient, and non-threatening. And a mother might not encourage her daughter to pursue her interests. She might put her down because she's pursuing her interests. 
And this can go as far as decision to get married, to have children, et cetera. If you have narcissistic mother, usually in the family it was all about her. So this is number five. So narcissistic mothers are very egocentric and self-absorbed, and they don't consider how their behavior affects everybody, even their daughters. So for example, if a daughter's studying for a test, the mother may intervene and interrupt her and tell her, hey, come and hang out with me. And if the daughter says, no, I'm studying, the mother may make her feel guilty or tell her that she could take the test another time. It's always about mother and what she wants. Number six, your mother lacks empathy. And this is the big, 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 one of the big determinants that your mother may be narcissistic or on a higher narcissistic scale. When she lacks empathy, she's not able to tend into you. She's not able to empathize with you. The thing about mothers and daughters is a mother is the person that most likely is able to understand how a daughter feels because she is the same as her. Yet, this is why this is so insidious because the mom does the complete opposite and does not try to empathize with her daughter. So the daughter feels invalidated. She feels unimportant and the mother cannot tune into her as a person. She has no clue who the daughter is because she does not take interest in what the daughter likes because for a narcissistic mother, it's always all about her. So if you're a daughter, you got to understand that everything that your mother does is for her and to protect herself and her fragile ego and the internalized shame that she has. It's never about you. You may try to tell your mother how you feel and she ends up stonewalling you, ignoring you, changing the subject or making it about herself. Uh, she might also tell you like, just be strong. Stop talking about these feelings. Number seven, your mother can't deal with her own feelings. And this goes hand in hand with empathy. Because your mother cannot deal with her own feelings, then she will not be able to deal with her own feelings. So as much as you try to express yourself to her, she is just not going to be able to do that because then that would mean that she has to tune into her feelings. And she has a lot of internalized shame. So it's kind of hard to do that for her because then that means that she has to go back to how she feels about herself. Sometimes the only feeling that a emotion that a narcissistic mother tends to show is anger. And a lot of daughters talk about how the relationship with their mother is superficial and there is no emotional connection. Number eight, your mother is highly critical and judgmental. A daughter of a narcissistic mother is constantly criticized, bullied, she's name called, guilt trip. And because of this, the daughter becomes overly sensitive. So when she goes out into the world, she may become defensive when somebody's trying to give her feedback. She may become defensive when somebody's trying to talk to her about something or point something out. So she's highly sensitive to criticism because she heard it throughout her life and she thinks that everybody else is criticizing her just as bad. Narcissistic mothers are very critical because they have a fragile ego. They have internalized shame and they are willing to do anything to make that shame a little bit less. But the thing about a narcissist is they have to continue doing it because it's never enough until they end up facing the reality of what they went through as children and what led them to who they are now, they will continue doing this cycle of abuse, unfortunately, to their daughters. They use their daughters as scapegoats for their bad feelings about themselves. They blame their daughters for their insecurities and their unhappiness when all they're doing is actually projecting. So anytime your mother does this, she is projecting. The thing about this is if your mother is constantly critical, then as a child, you think that something is wrong with you and that you're bad because if you weren't bad, your mother wouldn't be criticizing you so much or she wouldn't be as mean to you because your mother is constantly criticizing you. You end up receiving this message that you are not good enough and never will be. And this type of feeling is really hard to shake. It takes a lot of healing and a lot of work. A lot of daughters may struggle to make decisions because in the back of the head, they may be thinking, what is mother going to say? Number nine, your mother treats you like a friend and not a daughter. So a relationship between a mother and a daughter is that the parent takes care of the child. But in a narcissistic family, it's the child that's taking care of the parent's needs. And narcissistic mothers use their daughters to spill all their adult problems onto. A narcissistic mother may prematurely involve her daughter into adult matters, talk about sex and adult topics. And the last one, number 10, you have no boundaries with your mother. A narcissistic mother does not let her daughter be her own person. There is no such thing as boundaries in a narcissistic family because in a narcissistic family, it's all about attending to the parents' needs, i.e. the narcissistic mother. So she sees her daughter as an extension of herself. She doesn't see her as a separate person. So she sees her as the extension to do, to put on a show to make the mother look good. So she uses her daughter for that. There's no privacy between her and her mother. Talk about everything. It doesn't matter how inappropriate. And the mother even involves other people into the daughter's life. Narcissistic mothers fight to and nail when the daughter sets boundaries because they're losing that control. The reason why it's so hard for narcissistic mothers to let go of their children, because in their head, they think that they have an unlimited amount of supply because they have a child and a child is never going to leave them. But, you know, sometimes kids are just like enough is enough and they end up going low contact or no contact. These are 10 signs that your mother may be highly narcissistic or a narcissist.
Did you experience all of these with your mother? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video and you want to see more of this, go ahead and like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.